In this video, I'm looking at the Wrapped Go Hook X planar magnetic earphone. Let's get it. What's cracking, audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. So, Wrapped Go, who are these guys? Like, I'd never heard of them before, and suddenly everybody's talking about this Hook X. But in fact, they do have a bunch of other stuff as well. I know nothing about them. I'm, I got to admit, I'm really out of touch with the community and what's going on at the moment because I'm so busy trying to do all these reviews. But you can't help but hear, you know, talk of the wrapped goats. Uh, kicked up quite a stir in the community. So I got one. I know I'm way behind the curve, but uh, I came into it without looking at any other reviews or anything, trying to take a fresh perspective on it. And I gotta tell you what, I am pretty impressed, but let me tell you why. First of all, we're gonna have a look at the case. So you do get a case inside, it's not too bad, it's a bit, oh, it's not the best case in terms of usability. But I wanna show you what's inside here. Oh, because you get a couple of extra plugs in here. That is a 2.5 millimeter. That is a 3.5 millimeter. And when I bring in the IEMs here, you can see I've got a 4.4 millimeter termination on the cable here. And that is because this is a modular cable system. You can simply remove the plug like that and use whichever one you want now if you've only got one source or two sources that might not mean anything to you but for someone like me who's got multiple sources and i'm switching between them all the time this is huge i think this is absolutely fantastic and as you can see look the system that they've got it's really simple it's so easy there's no clips or switches or you know catches or anything it just slips on like that but it's very very secure I, I'd never have worried that it will come off by accident it's just a really good system really solid and uh, yeah so with that said let's have a look at the cable real quick and I like this cable you know actually I forgot to mention I forgot to mention when when I first look at the box here I'm like whoa look at that graffiti style uh, yeah, pretty cool. I used to be into graph once upon a time. Not these days, but I, I, that's pretty cool. So they've got this kind of youthful um, approach going on. But at the same time, it's also got elements of maturity as well. But anyway, I, I'm, I'm digressing. So let's have a look at this cable. It's a fabric braided cable, OCC silver plated copper. Um, yeah, it's got this beautiful green and black fabric breading on it, it's a twisted cable, all the components are matching um, matte aluminium, grey aluminium with these lime green highlights which as you can see here match perfectly with the IEM so yeah good cable, I love the modular system, it handles well what can I say? It's a good cable, I love that, that, that was a really nice surprise when I opened up the box so here are the IEMs now, and yeah, you can see there, you probably know already, but uh, if, you, if you're not aware of this IEM, Planar Magnetic, the price is $239, so it's not a budget IEM, but it's not, not quite in the mid-tier price range either. But you can see it's got a um, perforated or semi-open face plates there, so it's a semi-open IEM. Inside we've got a one planar magnetic driver, 14.2 millimeters, probably the same one that's in the 7 Hz Timeless and the uh, Lechua S12, I think it's the same driver. But in addition to that, it's also got a piezo mag a, uh, piezoelectric. Now in terms of appearance, I love this. I think this is funky. This is really fresh. It looks great gray and green beautiful gray green and black even better and as far as comfort goes they are pretty good they are not great here's what they look like in a silicone ear <laughs> but I, I tell you for me they're pretty comfortable I wore these 
all day today and I've done that for a few days previously as well but um, if you have smaller ears these might be a little bit big for you and as you can see the the build is well you probably can't see it but take my word for it the build is exquisite these are very nicely made so my first impressions upon opening the box were very positive I love the look I love the feel of the cable but then it then it was time to have a listen and so uh, let's talk about how these guys sound and the wrapped go hook x has an unashamedly fun tuning but thanks to its technical prowess, it has good resolution, a good soundstage, clarity and dynamics. It's an IEM where the music comes first, which is very important um, in the form of its tonality and musical presentation. It has this kind of U-shaped signature where the bass is boosted. The treble, not so much, perhaps just a little bit. And it is slightly on the warmer side of neutral, making it, at least for me, more emotionally engaging than compared to something that's brighter and more analytical. The Hook X here has a sound that's warm enough to be comforting, but at the same time it's clear and detailed enough to be exciting. Frequency response graph now. All right, have a look at that, and I'm not going to talk about the graph. It looks all right, fairly balanced, you know, dynamic enough. Anyway, let's move on to the bass, and the bass is slightly boosted above normal, but I wouldn't necessarily call this a bass head IEM. However, I wouldn't be surprised if bass heads were satisfied with the level or the quantity of bass provided. The bass itself kind of adapts itself to the music, so... If, if a recording has this sort of meaty bass or a meaty kick drum, then the hook X will respond in kind. As you would expect from a planar magnetic driver, the bass is nice and fast, it's nice and tight. But if bass notes have decay on the recording, then you're going to hear that reproduced on the hook X. But I like the fact that the hook X doesn't try to adhere to that sort of anal scooped out upper bass you know that's oh we've got to get we've got to get every single detail that we can no it's not like that it's more like it's just a fun easy going sound for the most part so it got a really nice full body bass and i appreciate that vocal lovers will appreciate the hook x's forward vocal presentation male vocals are full bodied and powerful female voices get some love too though they're sonorous without being shouty and male and female vocals are both deliciously articulate while the mids are full of detail with excellent spacing they are warm enough to be engaging too the ultimate test for me is the connection i feel to my music and with the hook x i am consistently singing along and i'm strapped in for the emotional roller coaster ride so that is a that is saying something big about this if i'm not enjoying my music i really don't care about hearing every tiny detail i want to be moved but now let's move on to the treble and if there is one area where I am not completely sold on the wrapped goes sound, it's in the treble. On one hand, it's detailed and for the most part it's nice and smooth, but on the other hand, I hear this kind of strange ringing or resonance every now and then. You know what? It reminds me a lot of the BQEYZ Spring and Summer IEMs. And both of those coincidentally have a piezoelectric driver. So I am thinking it's got something to do with that, not necessarily the tuning, but however, it could be. Um, a result of that 8 kilohertz peak but it just sounds so familiar i'm sure it's something to do with those p with that piezo driver so but fortunately with this model with this um iem i only hear that very occasionally so for the most part the treble is fine i have no troubles with it whatsoever but every now and then there is one song where i'll just be thinking oh there's that sound there's that ringing sound again and uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. I would love to pinpoint it and, and say, 
conclusively that yeah that is a piezoelectric sound or whether that's the tuning I, I just can't be sure but apart from that the treble performance is excellent it's not bright or sibilant the treble extension is good there's plenty of air up there details are abundant um not so much because of the not not because of a boosted treble or a really precise treble but just because the overall resolution is so good so you get plenty plenty of detail retrieval it's got good clarity as well and uh, overall definition on percussion and instruments is really good nice fast transients of course and then there is the sound stage which you're probably curious about unless you've read 100 reviews already because as i said i'm way late to the table with this one but um yeah semi open backs here look it, is, it doesn't really sound that much like an open headphone or earphone it is fairly much the same experience that you get with a regular IEM but having said that it does have a good sound stage and it does have nice imaging but I put that more down to the excellent instrument separation and resolution than I do to an expansive sound stage because it's not really that expansive however it does sound natural it does definitely does not feel confined or cramped it is fairly large but um yeah it is just overall wait before i summarize let's have a look at the hook x here compared to the seven hertz timeless now look i didn't really like this but having said that if you watch or read my review you probably know that i admire the the timeless i think it is a uh, pretty very impressive in fact it's a really impressive im despite the way it looks it's actually quite comfortable i'd say as comfortable as the hook x but for some reason it just didn't sort of engage me emotionally it is more resolving than the hook x like this thing is freakishly resolving you're going to hear every single sound separated it's kind of like um you know those exploded diagrams that you see that there's one on the hook x advertisement bloody page it's like an exploded diagram where every single sound has just been pulled apart and uh put down there but it's it's a little bit scientific for me it kind of sounds a little bit unnatural some people are really going to get a thrill for that now i know a lot of people love the timeless but for me it's just something a little bit off the hook x doesn't have that same issue for me i find it really fun to listen to it gets me involved and it it sounds natural overall which is the big the big thing for me the timeless here is a little bit cheaper of course but you don't get the modular cable system uh, and it's also mc mmcx which i'm not a fan of but you know apart from that it is a great iem but i think the wrapped x i mean the hook x sorry is yeah i think this is a better iem just because i enjoy it it might not be as resolving or detailed as the timeless here but as i've been rambling on about you know for me it's all about the feels and how much i enjoy it and as far as that goes the rap go hook x is excellent and i think whoops and i think it is a fantastic iem i think it's good value for money and if you are looking for a planar magnetic iem you should definitely consider this but i'm going to wrap it up there guys so thanks for watching by the way don't forget if you want to support the channel become a patron you know you'll get behind the scenes videos you know special behind the scenes uh i look into how i do stuff and what's coming up and and you get special access to the patreon um discord chat and all that kind of stuff but of course feel free to come and join us on the on our regular discord chat as well um so if you've got the hook x or the timeless or both leave a comment down below let me know what you think um i think this is a brilliant iem and i can't wait to see what they're going to do going forward but um yeah if you like this video Give it a thumbs up, Parfam audiophile style. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you later.